Hi everyone, my name is Christian. I'm back again uh, with the new 21 model F-Pace. Uh, so we're basically just going to do a quick overview of the interior, what's new uh, versus the previous generation. So the first thing you're going to notice if you've been in the previous Jaguar F-Pace is uh, one is the steering wheel. Uh, so what's carrying over is the new steering wheel, new looks versus the other one where it was um, there are more plastic buttons on here. These are have a screen behind them so they actually light up. Uh, very nice design, the handling just feels right for you. Uh, you also get the upgraded screen here, so this is the 11.4 inch PIVI Pro. Uh, the original system is called Touch Pro. Uh, we're updating the system here, more user friendly for iPhone users, Android users, whatever it may be. So they just try to make the system a lot easier to use. Uh, as long as uh, Another thing you can get here too is a wireless charger. So the wireless charger is new for these cars, uh, just makes things a lot easier. You're going to get this new shift knob design, different from the original one. And these buttons, as well as the volume icons, they just updated to make everything just user friendly. So, firstly, with the new uh, PIVI Pro system here in this touchscreen, you get an updated navigation. So, with that navigation, you get live traffic. Live traffic is just provided to you for the length of the warranty of the car, and it's this 4G connection right here. Uh, so, a cool part about it is once you open this up, you get this uh, satellite view. So, it, everything's up to date because once you get the vehicle installed with the maps, everything is going to give you all the current updated traffic, all everything inside the car, uh, as well as safety cameras. You got to know where that is. So uh, the navigation, they did make it a lot easier to use. So you simply hit the search icon. You can type in any address you want. Uh, for this one, we'll just say, oh, we're maybe on a road trip. Let's go to McDonald's. Let's find all the local McDonald's nearby. You hit OK. And basically, it's going to pinpoint where you are and find all the local McDonald's, as you can see here. It just populates them all. So the navigation, they kind of use it um, pulling the same information almost off your phone. So they just want everything to be easy to use, uh, ready to go. So when you're driving, whatever you're doing, boom, you can take that, uh, put that in, and it'll give you the fastest way to go somewhere based off of where you are. So the navigation, just type and go. So another cool part about the navigation uh, display here is that let's say you wanted the radio here. You could have the radio there, but also still have in this uh, full digital display here, the street view with the map. And it'll show you all the turn by turns as well as the turn by turns in the heads up display. So another uh, highlight that we want to point out with this PIVI Pro system is you also get profiles. So the profiles up here you basically make an account for yourself and if there is multiple drivers you can have multiple accounts basically what this system is going to do is learn you as a driver and your preferences um, over a period of time let's say like three weeks it's going to start to take oh your seat position uh, where you like the, the navigation every day at 9 a.m you go to work this address it's going to start putting those things in and learn it over a period of time so the nice part about that is that it memorizes you based off your key fob uh, or the Bluetooth that you have connected to the system. This just makes it easier so when you're getting in and out of the car, if there's multiple drivers, you don't have to keep setting your own positions or your settings in the car. It's going to memorize it. So the profile system in the car is very smart and it, it works very well. So another cool part in the new voice command system that they did upgrade uh, versus the other generation was mainly it was just uh, phone calls and navigation. Now you can also set climate temperatures. So we'll try that now just to show you. Set temperature to 72 degrees. So it also adjusted that as you can see. You can also set the fan speed, uh, different settings like that, but they did really expand uh, what you can do and it's a lot more forgiving in this system. Uh, like I said before, in the new 21 Jaguar F-Pace, you're also gonna get a wireless charging uh, station right here. So basically all you need to do is, it kind of depends on your case. A lot of cases won't matter, but if they're really, uh, they have a magnet on the back of them or if they're pretty bulky, it may not work. You may have to take the case off. Um, I don't have a case, so we're just gonna put the case on there. And then you'll be able to see once it's charging, cause there's actually gonna be a logo up here. So there you go. That's, the, that's what you wanna look for to know if your phone's charging. Uh, you could look, but sometimes you, know, you can't see when you're driving. Uh, if for some reason you do have a magnet on the back of your phone, uh, for like the um, your phone case, that will actually be crossed out. That's the only reason why it wouldn't work. Every time you put the phone on there, it always takes about 30 seconds before it starts actually charging. The reason being is that the car system wants to make sure that your phone's compatible for that wireless charging station. Uh, but other than that, you just throw it on there, look for that signal, as long as it's there, your phone's charging. Alrighty, so the next tip and trick here is gonna be the actual ambient lighting if you have an option for your car. 
Uh, this vehicle does have it. Uh, it's, you got to remember where it is just because it's kind of in a weird spot, but you know, that's what this video is going to be for. Uh, so when you're in the home screen here, you're going to want to hit this settings icon here. Once you get this screen, you're going to look for all and press that. On the left side, you're going to want to make sure you're under vehicle, and then what you're looking for is cabin lighting. So the cabin lighting is where you can change the interior color of the car. It won't go on right now just because it's daylight out right now and it has an ambient sensor on the outside. Um, but this screen here is essentially where you can choose what you want the inside color to be. Change the whole inside of the car. Uh, it's pretty awesome. This one, this vehicle specifically is optioned with the three zones. So you can change uh, the top level of the car, the middle zone, and then the bottom level, the football level. So uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you got to just memorize where it is. Uh, that's why this video is here. So you can change it whenever you want. While you're driving, doesn't matter. That's the cabin lighting. So we're also going to talk about the heads-up display in this vehicle that it is equipped with here. So it's flashing right now just because of the camera. That's just what it's doing. But in real life, in person, you can see that it's just still. Uh, so you, there's a couple adjustments you can do. And to find those adjustments, you're going to hit the little scroll wheel on the left side. It's going to bring up some menus in here. You're going to want to look for a heads-up display. This one was already under there. And you just navigate in with these arrows here. So a couple things you can do is adjust the brightness. This one's at the brightest. Just use the scroll wheel to adjust it. You can also change the position of it. Let's say you couldn't see it. It was too high or too low. You can adjust the position of that. And we'll see if the camera will pick it up. So I'm going to scroll it down. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. So these are just things that are nice to have uh, with the heads-up display. And that's also going to memorize. Your profile is going to memorize with that, too. Thank you for watching this video on the Jaguar of Naperville YouTube channel. Please make sure to like and subscribe and check out all of the other great videos we have on the channel. Take